So some of these kids growing up in the, the area of uh, Fire Station 94, it's not a um, it's not an easy life for them. I would say uh, there is tough areas in the city that uh, they could get sucked into. So this program actually for them allows them, just like it did for me in the neighborhood I grew up, the opportunity to better themselves in one way or another. Um, I've had cadets here that have never thought they would go to college and have found themselves in a four-year university fulfilling their other career dreams that they've had. For me, that's exciting because not all of them are meant to be firefighters, but they all have the opportunity to be someone positive in the community. Anytime I go outside, I always see some type of gang members doing tagging the wall or trying to rob somebody and do all these um, negative acts that they do. In the area that I live in, in South LA, it's, it's dangerous nowadays for uh, young adults and young kids like me. You just walk into the store, probably just going to a family member's house. It's just, you really have to be conscious of where you're going. What I learned about myself from this program is where it's discipline, teamwork, leadership skills, and it really helped me out in a way to where I can feel like I can be a bigger person. This program has helped me become a leader in a lot of different ways, especially when it comes to me and my family. I'm always there to mentor my cousins or mentor my nephews or nieces. It's, it's helped me a lot, especially outside of the cadet program when it comes to school, family, and friends. So it's, it's always good to have, uh, to see these cadets come in at younger age, 14, 15, or even older than that, not knowing exactly what they want or what they're looking for, or even if this is the right thing choice for them. I've seen them come in lost, and then seeing them end up with an understanding of their purpose of what they want to do in life. I have to remind them that I was them at one time. I myself was an explorer cadet. The advisor that I had led me to where I'm at because he gave me the steps to follow. And in return, I do the same for them. And I got to bring myself back to that point to let him know that I was there. I thought it was difficult as well. I saw the challenges, but I also saw the, the way to overcome those challenges. And I tried to motivate them by letting them know that it's, it's okay. It's okay to have those challenges. I'd like to give a special shout out to Fire Station 57 for really helping me through my journey of being a cadet and hopefully in the future I'll get the